voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to hear it. Well, folks, it's playoff time. I know who would have thunk it went by too fast, didn't it? Scoreboard's up there. We are all ready. We got this show on the road. Oh, everybody, Timer for Timer Sports Live. Hey, guys. Should be a good one, of course. The good guys are ready to play for this exciting game against Strongsville. So we're just about ready to get this started. Coach Brent talking with them. Of course, it should be a fun one. Number eight seed against number 11. Winner plays North Ridgeville West. Cleveland Heights pulls off the mother of all upsets. We'll see if they do. One can only hope they pull off big upsets. You got everything all set up. Here on what's a really hot day, hottest day the entire season. It's 80 something degrees. There's, there we are right there. And it looks like the umpires are talking things over still. Of course, the Hornets still yet to enter the field. It is playoff time, however, and the good guys are looking to replicate some of that playoff magic they had last year. Of course, that was fun. Almost one district. Hopefully, this is the year we win district. We got against going to face off against a familiar foe if we win North Ridgeville and a familiar opponent if we win North Royalton. North Royalton we beat in the district semifinals last year. It's at North Ridgeville, so I won't be able to cover that. That's 34 minutes from my house, plus highway driving. Not fun. <laughs> almost ready to go. There is everybody. Still almost ready. Coach Brown over there. Coach Holly right uh, there. Well, folks, we are getting hyped. Well, how good is this Strongsville team? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> And here they go. Well, I mustn't complain. That's a pretty good crowd. Wish I was live streaming this, but of course when you're in the middle of nowhere, don't really have much of an option. Ashley's pitching for us today. As always, she's in the circle. Let's look at the one I'm sure will have to deal with. It starts off with, uh, excuse me, paper. <laughs> uh, the paper was in the way. It starts off with Maddie Rochelle, then Tori Kakos, then Stephanie Mraz, then Bree Ensworth, then Shelby Toper, and then Gabby Kohlberg, then Devin Adams, then it's Riley Croucher, and then after that it's Julia DeMarco. Field looks basically the same as it typically is for us. Kennedy doing the catching right there. Kirsten at first, Emma second, Emily short, Kirsten third. 
Uh, Courtney at left, Curran at center, and Paige at right. We've already gone five minutes through this video. No softball action at all. I'm officially becoming a clickbait YouTuber. Highland Hornets softball first inning. It never shows it. <laughs> Just kidding. Real clickbait would be me in the thumbnail looking like, oh my God, something crazy happened to the game. You won't believe the ending of this. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a good ending for us. Ready to go. Maddie Rochelle leads things off. Gerson on the scene of playing in. Gerson Trait not really right now. And here we go. Hornets, Mustangs. First pitch is a ball. Great to have you aboard on this playoff Wednesday afternoon. Timer in here, of course. Who else will be running a YouTube channel that's called Timer in Sports Live? Which is ironic because this game is not being live streamed. Gosh, I have an AP French exam tomorrow. There's a strike for you. One and one. So getting set here. And here comes the one one on the way. It's going to be a strike. One two. And trying to get the strike out here is the sophomore Ashley. Can she do it? Getting set, here it comes. Running up, and that one's in the dirt. Was that a bunt attempt? Of course, it's really not a good idea to bunt when there are two strikes because that means it's a third strike if it goes foul. Ashley ready on this hot day. Runs up, and that's three and two. On deck is Tori Kekos. See what happens here. And Risher, Rochelle waiting. That one's a foul ball. Rochelle going to deal with the seventh pitch of the at bat. One of the, of course, in the lower 80s. Of course, feels like it's finally summertime. And folks have been waiting for it here for a while. <laughs> Payoff again. Ball four, that breaks up the perfect game. They're always working on perfect game until the first base runners on. Kikos is up. Watch out for Rochelle. Let's see if she goes. She's going oh, in a bunt attempt, gets it down and booted by Kirsten. I'm having a hurry, it's over Emma's head. It's going to go into right field and get past Paige. That's going to bring home a run. That'll make it 1 0. She's going to third base, going to the cutoff. And Emily bobbles that. And already, Strongsville up 1 0. Kirsten was rushed on that throw, causing it to go over Emma's head. And they're already up 1 0. Here's Stephanie Moraz to the plate. I don't know if they call that a hitter or not. Regardless, we're still down one nothing. Another bunt attempt gets it down. That's a fair ball and flipping it to the plate. It's over Kennedy's head. Two nothing. Runners going down to second. And already some defensive meltdowns already. Could quite easily be three outs. But no, it's 2 nothing stud and still nobody out. Moran's at second. This is not what you want to be in. Bree Ensworth is up. We'll see if Bree bunts here. Kirsten playing in. Both Kirsten's playing in. Strike one. Kane gets it in quick. Good God, we're near the 10 minute mark and still not an out. Getting all set here is Ashley trying to shake off what's been a rough series. Ball one. 
Strongsville still with nobody out. Up to nothing. Too early to overreact, but typically that's how it starts though. There's a little flare into shallow off Courtney coming in and Courtney can't make the play. That's gonna score a run. Already the self-destructing. Pinch runner there for Rensworth, the uh, catcher. All right, there's going to be a meeting in the circle. Just a rough start for the good guys. Down 3 nothing here. We need something. We need something now. There's the next batter, Shelby Topper. Topper with a golden opportunity, of course. Of course, Strongsville's had three blessings of two throws over the head and one ball that got past court out there left. Of course, this is still a great team. Just some mistakes. Strike one. Bree is at second. Ain't nobody out. The Mustangs off to a hot start. Hotter than the 80 degree weather out here today. Strike two, good pitch there by Ashley. Trying to get that first out, a much needed first out, may I say. 0 2, ball. Kennedy had to get up for that one. This is their, oh, sorry for the voice crack. <laughs> this is their fifth batter of the inning. Getting set. And the pitch struck her out, one gone. All right. Gabby Kohlberg is up. See what Kohlberg does here. The first pitch coming up. Kohlberg takes the first strike, nothing in one. It's. Wednesday, May 11th, 2022 out here in Granger, Ohio, where the playoff game is being played. There's a strike again, nothing in two. See if Kohlberg will get on or not. And that's over, have runs going down to third. I think that's McKenna Doe. At least I think. One, two. Struck her out, two gone. After that comes Devin Adams. Adams, number nine, plays at third. She can make it four nothing, maybe five nothing, hopefully neither. There's a strike, nothing and one. We'll see what happens here. Ashley's set. Here comes the L1. Swing and a miss. Nothing and two. So Adams. Down in the count, nothing to Ashley doing a good job to fight back out here. Oh, two. Strike three called, and that will take care of the first, but the damage is done. Three runs, a trio of runs, and it's three nothing. How's our lineup look? Looks all like this Emma, Ashley, Kirsten, Emily, Kennedy, Corinne. After that is Kirsten, after that is Courtney, after that is Paige, and pitching for them is. Shelby Toper, we are just about ready. Of course, it may be just the bottom of the first, but I'm still up top the slide because back on Monday's win against Maslin, I'm gonna have a home run, so did Kirsten. Kirsten Trait, that is. Down in a hole, three nothing. Bomb half of the first inning. 
We'll see if Emma can do it again like she did two days ago. Well, looks like she's not trying to hit one out here. It looks like she's trying to bunt 1 0. There's baseball practice behind me. And here comes the pitch. Emma runs up. That is a strike 1 1. I'm a very dangerous, not just with the bat, but also on the base paths. And if you haven't watched Time Room Sports Live, that's something you should know. She's going to pop that one up on the third base side where the catch is made, one away. Devin Adams on that. Sorry about that, folks. Here's Ashley Brewster. The Mustangs up 3-0. Yeah, there's the baseball practice going on right there. You get to see them tomorrow, hopefully, when we play Copley. That one's taken for a ball to Ashley, 1-0. Definitely a larger crowd than normal when it comes to this softball game. That's always good to see. And here comes a 1 0, 2 0 upstairs. And there they are right there, the baseball team. But of course, you're not here for the baseball team, you're here for a softball game. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch. And that's a backwards home run. Heads up. Almost ended up in a car. That would not be good. Thankfully, I park over at the middle school. It may be a hike, but still. Two and one to count the pitch. Ball three, three and one. Kirsten waits on duck. Looking to get on base in any way, shape, or form. Here it comes on three and one. Ball four, take your base. Nice humble way to get on. Kirsten's up. Back on Monday, she used every muscle she had to hit one out at Maslin. Turned out to be a difference maker. 2-1 victory for us on Monday. We finished as my pinch runs for Ashley. That's definitely a speed upgrade, and not to mention the fact that Ashley got some rest. rest. The catcher is a left-handed Bree Ensworth. That was one of the things that Coach Holly pointed out. Foul back, nothing in one. See what happens here. Uh, nothing in one. Getting set here is Toper. Ball one, it gets away. Maya down to second. Shelby Toper just trying to get out to two and three. But well, won't be the easiest now considering the fact that there are runners, or there's a runner at scoring position. A no double play scenario. Here it comes. Misses two and one. Of course, the Horns were down by five against Revere, if you recall, on senior night. That ended up being a win for us nonetheless. Here comes the two one. Swung on and a little flare out to second where the catch is made. Good play there by DeMarco. Two away. Emily Miller comes up. See what Emily can do here. And this Wednesday, very hot and humid. Emily takes out one for a ball, one and oh. We haven't had a single hit today, but keep in mind we're in the first, so no need to freak out yet. Two 
two and all upstairs. As long as if she gets on base, that means a tying run comes up. Unless Tamaya gets out, which hopefully doesn't happen. 2-0, and now 2-1 after the swing and a miss. So here we go on 2-1. And, and getting set here. Pitch. Gets away. Maya going to try to go down to third. The throw. No throw. She's safe. Number 22, Kennedy Steinbacker would be next. 3-1. and one. Helicopter up there. Three and one. Gang set, the pitch. And Emily fouls it back, makes the count full. And now it's do or die time. Hopefully we don't die. Full count. Two gone, the payoff. And it's to third base. Good play right there. Throw down first is all off, but Emily retired nonetheless. And that's how you get out of a jam. After one, it's three nothing. We'll be back. <laughs> 